My biggest annoyance with AMD is the lack of continued driver support for graphics cards. Like, look at GPUs like the R9290. I still think it's a pretty competent GPU in 2024, but AMD has since moved on. The community, however, hasn't. That's because for older GCN GPUs like this, there are the custom NIMES drivers. But are they worth an install? Will they give you better performance? Well, it's time to find out as I've tested both the legacy drivers from AMD and the custom NIMES drivers to find out which driver package is better. Sometimes older, unsupported graphics cards will have either compatibility or performance issues in newer games, and that is where custom third-party drivers come into the equation. That is because they often have better optimizations, or it's said to have better optimizations, than the official legacy drivers from AMD. Custom third-party drivers sometimes have the ability to turn an unplayable experience into something that's a bit more enjoyable, or they could even get a game that doesn't want to start on legacy drivers to a game that will actually at least run. As we all know, when a graphics card becomes legacy, new game support is pretty spotty at best. So to find out if these custom third-party NIMES drivers actually make a difference, I've tested them using the AMD R9 290 4GB. All testing has been done on my GPU testing PC, which has an Intel Core i5 12400F, 32GB of dual rank, dual channel, 3200MHz DDR4 memory, an MSI B660-A Pro motherboard, and a 1TB NVMe Gen 4 SSD. For comparison purposes, I've used both the official AMD legacy drivers and the NIMES drivers to see which driver package is best for an old GCN graphics card like the R9290. So, let's see which one's better. Starting off the benchmarks today with Hogwarts Legacy and not much really changed in this game. That's because the NIMES drivers only had a 2% increase over the official Legacy drivers, getting 49 FPS on average with a 1% low of 36 FPS. The official AMD drivers scored literally 1 FPS behind it, getting 48 there, and the 1% low was 34 frames per second. So if you were after more performance in Hogwarts Legacy, these drivers aren't going to cut it for you and you might need a GPU upgrade. Fortnite was a weird one today as on the Legacy driver, it ran totally fine getting 141 FPS on average with a 1% low of 94 FPS, which is pretty decent. But switching to the NIMES drivers totally broke Fortnite and it wouldn't even start. So this nets a zero for the average and a zero for the 1% low as, yeah, the, the game doesn't run. If you were after more performance with a custom driver in Fortnite, the NIMES drivers are certainly not going to cut it. If you know what's causing this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Cyberpunk 2077 surprised me as there was literally no performance change at all. I was expecting at least a slight performance uplift with the custom drivers, but for the average frame rate, both drivers were exactly the same at 44 FPS. The 1% low is one frame lower with the official driver, but you're not really going to notice this in gameplay. It's even Stevens in Spider-Man Remastered as both the average and 1% lows are exactly the same across both drivers. So yeah, I'd probably just keep it legacy for Spider-Man Remastered because it's really not worth messing around with custom drivers to get the same performance. Just like Spider-Man Remastered, Rainbow Six Siege is also even Stevens with the exact same average frame rate and the exact same 1% low. So yet again, if you want some custom drivers, Rainbow Six Siege is not going to benefit from it. So just like Spider-Man Remastered, I'd recommend keeping it to the legacy drivers in Rainbow Six Siege, unless if you're facing an issue in another game on the official drivers, then I'll try out the Nimes drivers, as to be fair, you're not going to be losing anything. Speaking of losing stuff, Forza Horizon 5 lost 6% performance with the Nimes drivers going down to 50 FPS, down from 53 FPS of the Legacy Driver. So keep it to the Legacy Driver in Forza Horizon 5. There's no real reason to use the Nimes Driver, even though 6% performance loss on average isn't really that much, but why would you install a custom driver to lose more performance than the official driver? It doesn't really make sense to me, unless if you've got compatibility issues elsewhere. Speaking of other compatibility issues, F123, doesn't run on the legacy driver. I've tried testing it before to no avail, 
However though, the Nimes drivers do get this game running and it gets it running quite well with 79 FPS on average and a 1% low of 68 FPS on the low preset. I deem that a massive win for the Nimes driver because 79 FPS is certainly a lot better than a big fat zero. So if you wanted to play F123 on an R9290, the Nimes drivers are the ones that you're going to want. Overall then, I'd be lying if I said the Nimes drivers are a silver bullet for increasing gaming performance on older GCN graphics cards. And in fact, it reduces some performance in games like Forza Horizon 5 as that went down by 6% with the average frame rate off the top of my head, which is outside margin of error. So the driver just doesn't perform as well in that game for some reason. Speaking of reduced performance, these drivers totally broke Fortnite for some reason, like it wouldn't even start on this game, so you are losing 100% performance there, compared to the official AMD legacy drivers, so that's something you need to look out for there. I'm not sure if this is just down to my testing scenario today, because I did try restarting the PC to no avail, and yeah, these NIMES drivers don't work with Fortnite on an R9290 for some reason. Which is a shame because the AMD legacy drivers ran Fortnite totally fine. So if you know why the NIMES drivers are causing issues with Fortnite, feel free to comment that down below because I would like to know. But it's not all doom and gloom for the NIMES drivers. That is because F123 did in fact start on them and it ran pretty decently on the low preset. Yes, it's not exactly modern GPU levels of performance but you get to at least start the game and play it with playable frame rate, unlike the Legacy driver, so that's a win there. Also, there was a win in Hogwarts Legacy for the Nimes drivers, as it got 2% more performance on average, which is within margin of error, admittedly, but it's still a win nevertheless. So now it's time to answer the main question. Is it worth installing custom third-party drivers if you've got a GPU like the R9290? And to be honest, no, maybe yes, it depends. If you're currently facing games which aren't launching on the official legacy drivers from AMD, it might be worth checking out the third party drivers. Like in the case of F1 today, that wouldn't start on the legacy drivers, but on the Nimes drivers, it worked flawlessly. The reason why I'm so on the fence about these drivers is because when a game was running fine on the legacy drivers, it ran basically the same on the Nimes drivers, if not worse. And in the case of Fortnite, it totally broke that game and it wouldn't launch. So if you're after more performance, I guess, these drivers are not going to cut it for you. But this is just me testing with one graphics card. So maybe your mileage may vary. Say if you've got an R9 390 or a 380 or something along those lines, you might have different behavior to what I have depending on which driver version you install as well. So if you're looking to squeeze more performance out of your older GCN graphics card, I think you're going to be pretty disappointed with the Nimes drivers. The only reason I'd recommend these for is in the case of F123, where games on the legacy drivers aren't loading and you want to play them. Other than that though, if you want more performance, I wouldn't really bother with them. So that brings me on to the end of the video. The TLDR is compatibility issues with official drivers. Go ahead and try them out. But if you're after more performance, they're not worth it. I wouldn't really bother with them. So if you enjoyed this video, there are two other videos right up here, which might be right up your alley. And if you got this far into the video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around this long and do leave a like if you liked the video. With that being said, I'm going to leave this one here and I'll catch you in the next one.